So today we've got some items from nailartuk.co.uk. There's their flyer and they very kindly sent me a 10% off voucher code as well there if you want to use it. And we have got nail stickers and nail decals to show you today. Now these are two very different sorts of products in the way that you apply them and people often get confused. These are nail art decal stickers. So these are stickers that you actually have to um, put into water first, they're wa what is often called water slide. Um, they come in a really wide variety of patterns and there's some really, really pretty um, patterns here. I've got gone for floral ones this time. These are adhesive nail art stickers. So these are like your standard sticker that you peel off the backing sheet and you stick straight on. So they are simpler, but, but I find actually they're more difficult to keep on the nail. But I'll talk about that a little bit further on. And again, these are floral designs they've sent me. I particularly like these ones. These are really pretty, they've got little glitters on them and that's what I'm going to be using now to show you how we apply them. So I always use, um, oh here's my colour pop, sorry. Um, I've also got a pair of fine nose tweezers. These really are the best for getting them off. Um, flat nose ones, you're gonna struggle. And when you're using gel polish, you need to apply two coats of colour, remove your inhibition layer, and you're going to wait for that um, to dry and then you're literally just going to stick your sticker straight onto that layer. Now I find this is a bit fiddly. Can you see how fine nose these, these um, tweezers are? That's really going to help you get the sticker off the page um, in one solid piece. That's dry now, so we can go ahead. Now I have found uh, in the past I've bought cheap stickers from China and they are near impossible to get off the sheet in one piece. They are really, really difficult. Now if you just try and slide your tweezers on underneath like that, it's not gonna work. They're not gonna come off nicely, you're gonna end up catching up the edges, you're not gonna get a nice clean image. If you bend the sheet ever so slightly like this, look, they pop up, and you can just grab the corner of it, so it's much easier to do it that way. Now if you place it onto the nail fairly loosely, and stuck it down properly there. You can actually move it around until you've got it just about where you want it. And then you can just use the pad of your finger or your thumb or whatever, you use wipe if you don't want to contaminate with oils, and just press it down really firmly onto the pop. And that is literally the sticker on. Now the issue when putting stickers on under gel polish, or over gel polish I should say, is keeping them on. People often say, oh I find they catch, they peel up, they don't stay on you need to top coat twice. There's no two ways about it, that's the only way I've ever found to keep them on. I use a nice, fairly thick, glossy one, and I'm using a no wipe top coat here. And the first layer I tend to actually put on fairly sort of thinly, and I give it a good scrub in so that it really does get on, and then I go back and I float my brush over to make sure I've got a really nice, even coverage that's going to seal that sticker in. So that's the first coat. And then I've, I've cured it, and I'm going to apply a second coat. Now this is the point where you need to make sure that it is all stuck down properly. If you've got any little corners sticking up, you might want to just snip them off. And then you need to top coat again in exactly the same way. So floating with a good amount of product on your brush over the top, sealing the entire nail. One thing I would say with these stickers is I wouldn't recommend you put them anywhere near the free edge. If you put them near the free edge, they are far more likely to catch and peel up and much more difficult to seal in. That one's being cured. And you can see there the gorgeous sparkle from those stickers. They really are beautiful and it is completely smooth. There's no way it's going to catch. Really, really pretty. So if you're afraid of nail art, this is a really good compromise for you. Now we're going to do the slightly trickier one. These are the decals. 
and they are water slide decals. On the back of the packet there were really nice clear instructions to me which was great. Um, the only thing I would change slightly about it is maybe how long I leave it in the water for. It says 10 seconds um, on the back of the packet. I left it for at least 30 seconds I would say just to make sure that the um, decal had slid off the back. Now there's a little dap dish of water so you'll need a only a tiny bit of water, you don't need a grippy bowl or anything like that. You're going to need your fine nose um, tweezers again and you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut out the image because when these are created they're created as almost like one image printed onto the sheet and the closer you can cut to the image the better. Um, I haven't gone particularly closely for this demonstration background is clear as well and that's worth remembering with these decals if you're applying them over very dark colors they may appear differently because the image doesn't actually have any white background to it if that makes sense so you need to peel off the protective plastic layer and then literally just pop the whole thing into the water and leave that and as I said I left it for a good 30 seconds or so Here's a pop that I've already gel polished and I'm just removing the tacky layer from the colours. I haven't top coated at all yet. So after about 30 seconds or so, I get a lint-free wipe and this is what I personally do and I find it works the best. So you get your lint-free wipe and you get your tweezers. And place it on. Now it's very wet at the moment and really you don't want to be introducing water to a gel polish system because you're, that's just asking for service breakdown. So what I tend to do is I pat with another lint-free wipe to remove as much of the excess water. And you can already see that the design has slid off the back there. And there it is. It is still a little, a little bit damp at this point and again you can actually position it whereabouts you want it, put it on really lightly, move it around slightly. Once you're happy with where it is I use another lint-free wipe to pat it down and also to remove any excess moisture that might be on the image because again you don't want to have um, any moisture sealed in underneath your gel top coat or you'll end up with surface breakdown. So it really is making sure that yes it's nice and flat and on the nail and is stuck but also that it is really well dried off as well. And again with these we're going to seal them in in exactly the same way as we sealed in um, the normal stickers with two layers of top coat. Um, if you are applying them near to the edge of the nail you're going to find it difficult to seal the whole image in. I uh, often get asked what do you do if you're doing a whole nail decal? Um, so if I was doing a whole nail decal I'd apply it to the nail, I'd make sure it's completely patted down, I'd use a little bit of acetone on a, on a brush and tidy up around the edges and then I would go along the free edge, make sure there was no product in the free edge at all so that when I seal, I'm actually sealing directly onto the gel polish and not onto the decal at the free edge, if that makes sense. So that you know you're getting a really good seal around the decal and not just on top of it. I hope that makes sense. Then here's the finished result. And as you can see, they are really beautiful. The colors really pop and they are completely smooth, which means that you're not going to end up with any lifting. You're not going to get clients saying they come off. Um, I really hope this has been useful for you today guys. Please do check out my website dazzledigits.co.uk Make sure you're also following me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Thanks very much.